So following a successful night in Denmark in the Champions League, Arsenal women are back in WSL action this weekend. It's not just any game, it is the North London derby here at the Hive. This is the Arsenal women versus Tottenham women match preview. Hello, my name is Richard. Welcome back to my channel over and over and over again at the Arsenal podcast. As I say in this video, we are going to look ahead to this weekend's big North London derby in the WSL here at the Hive as Arsenal women league leaders face Tottenham who actually start the day in third place. We'll look at some past meetings between the sides. We're going to look at the history of the Tottenham women. We're going to have a little look at this stadium as well. We're going to profile their coach. We're going to pick a player to watch. And we're also going to look at the team lineups and a score prediction. Just before we get into all that, just if you are new to the channel and you do enjoy some good Arsenal content, I'd say we do cover the Arsenal women on this channel as well. Please consider subscribing. Give this video a like as well if you enjoy it. Share the content around. And please drop some comments in the box as well. Let me know what your thoughts are ahead of this big North London derby. So it's loads to get through. So let's get started. So in history then, Arsenal and Tottenham women have met each other six times. Arsenal have won five and there's been one draw. Tottenham are yet to win a North London derby. The only draw actually was in the Continental Cup back in 2020. Arsenal did win that game on penalties, although it did cost us the opportunity to get through the group stage. So in the WSL, then Arsenal have won all four previous meetings. And of course, we did beat Tottenham 5-1 in the FA Cup at Boreham Wood earlier this season. And this will be the first time Arsenal women have played in this stadium. The previous two away games have both been played in the men's stadium. And Arsenal won those 2-0 and 3-0. So we've got a great record going into this game against Tottenham women. <laughs> So originally founded in 1985 under the name Broxbourne Ladies, Tottenham Ladies became part of the men's team in 1991 before they did change their name to Tottenham Women in 2019. The club did win a cup double in 2015-2016 when they won the Premier League Women's Cup and also the Premier League Cup as well. Um, and then they won the Premier League Cup again in 2017. In 2017, they also won promotion to WSL2 where they then finished seventh in their first season. And then in May 2019, they reached the WSL for the first time in their history. Uh, the first North London derby between the two sides was in November 2019, which actually attracted the highest crowd for a WSL game of 38,262. That game was, of course, played at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So the Tottenham women previously played at Chesson until 2016. And they then moved to Harlow Town before in 2019, they moved into the stadium that you can see behind me, the Hive which they share with Barnet and also with London Bees. The ground itself was built in 2013 and it has a capacity of 6,500. So the Tottenham women coach then is Rianne Skinner. Uh, she's formerly a player and manager at Leicester City Women. And of course, she was formerly an assistant at Arsenal from 2010 until 2013. She's also coached at both Wales and England before taking over at Tottenham in November 2020. <laughs> So the one to watch for Tottenham then is going to be forward Kit Graham. She was born in November 1995 in Chatham. She joined Charlton in 2011 and actually scored 122 goals in just 146 appearances at the Valley before moving to Tottenham in 2019, where she has since scored five goals in 32 appearances. So the one to watch for Tottenham this weekend is Kit Graham. <laughs> So 
So in terms of current form in Tottenham, I say currently fit third place in the WSL. They've got 13 points from their six games. They did win their first four, but they've picked up just one point in the last two. And that was only thanks to a last gasp equaliser last week against Manchester United. In fact, they've scored in the last five minutes of games in five of their six WSL matches this season. Uh, and they also recently did beat Charlton in the Continental Cup. So they do come into this game in great form. Only one defeat so far this season. So in terms of the lineup then for Arsenal women, again, I'm expecting there to be a few changes from the midweek game in Denmark. I think Zinsberger will come back in goal. I think Anna Patton may well get a start at right back. She did score, of course, having come off the bench on Wednesday night. I think the central defensive partnership will probably be Williamson and Wilber Moy. I'm not expecting Jen Beasy to be back into the starting lineup following her illness. And I think left back will be Katie McCabe. I think the pre midfield, we should expect to see Kim Little back in the starting lineup. And I think she'll be partnered by Frieda Manham and Jordan Nobbs. And then the three up front, I think Viv Meadermeyer will start through the middle. And I think either side of her will be Beth Mead. And if she's fit, Tobin Heath. If not, then I would expect maybe Nikita Paris will keep her place in the side there. So that's the Arsenal lineup I'm expecting for this game. So in terms of a score prediction then, it's always difficult to pick North London derbies, aren't they? But we do have the upper hand over Tottenham and of course we did win the most recent meeting 5-1 in the FA Cup at Boreham Wood. Of course, it's our first visit to this stadium, which is going to be a new experience. So let's see how we get on. But we're going to start clear favourites to win this game. Although Tottenham have had a really positive start to the season, they're not really scoring too many goals and we're not conceding too many. In fact, we haven't conceded a goal in the WSL since the opening day of the season against Chelsea. So I am expecting Arsenal to come out on top again against Tottenham and make it five wins out of five in the WSL against our North London rivals. I don't think it's going to be quite as straightforward as maybe some of the recent games in the league, but I do think we'll come out on top. I think the final score here at the Hive will be Tottenham Hotspur women nil, Arsenal women two. So that's a preview there of the big North London derby this weekend here at the Hive between Tottenham Hotspur women and Arsenal women. Let's hope Arsenal can make it seven wins out of seven at the top of the WSL. Please stay tuned to the channel because we've got a lot of great stuff coming up. Of course, it is the watch along of this game. We'll be going live at quarter past one for a half past one kickoff. We'll have a bit of build up your team news and then, of course, full match commentary, the best coverage of the Arsenal women currently on YouTube. Uh, and then, of course, coming up next week, We'll have the, the Tuesday clinic, as always, looking ahead to another big weekend in the Premier League. Um, and then, of course, next Wednesday, we've got the watch along of the Arsenal women versus Koga in the Champions League as well. Kick off at eight o'clock there. So we'll go live for that one at quarter to eight. Uh, and then, of course, next Friday as well, it's going to be another edition of the Arsenal Women's Show with the usual panel. That's going to be a great show as well, followed by, of course, the Watch Along on Saturday evening, Arsenal away at Liverpool in the Premier League. So loads and loads of great Arsenal content coming up over the next week or so. So if you are new here and you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Please give this video a like as well if you enjoy it. Uh, and please drop your comments in the box as well what your thoughts are ahead of this North London derby tomorrow. So that's it then for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's given you a little bit of a lowdown on our North London rivals, of course, ahead of this big game. Let's hope for another big performance from the Arsenal women as we look to keep ourselves three points ahead of Chelsea at the top of the table. Come on, you gunners!